welcome back to our 100% playthrough of Ape Escape 2. Or else it would be if we didn't do this. I'll explain more in a minute. Arrive safe and sound. Oh no! Ooh. Isn't it cool? Just like Pipochis. Oh. No, that's not the point. That type of helmet is different from Pipochis. It causes big problems in the past. When monkeys put those helmets on, they get into all kinds of mischief. Wow, a white monkey! What? Better! Oh no, it's happening again! Oh. Doesn't look like he's bothering anyone. Better is a smart one. We don't know what he might do if he uses his powers to take control over the other monkeys. What should we do? Huh. Looks like they're having fun. What are you talking about? We have to get all the monkey helmets back before the professor returns from his trip. What? Why me? Oh. Because you messed things up. Oh. Get moving! Okay, I'll fix things. Oh. So says Misty 2.0. Now, a question you're likely having is... Why are we back at the beginning? And this is because we made one critical error, and it's a similar one that we made in Doom 2016. For some reason, the PlayStation 4, when you're screen recording, does not actually stay on screen to let you know that you're recording. So, when we recorded the next episode of Ape Escape 2, um, the footage did not capture. At that point, we were already past the level and had it saved. This is why we normally have two saves, just in case something goes wrong. But, of course, we forgot to do it with Ape Escape. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to speedrun our way all the way back to where we were from the beginning. This way there is some sense of commentary here. Um, just so you have an idea of what has been going on throughout the game. So, basically, this is Liberty Island. Basically, three monkeys to catch. First one being good old... George, and right now we do not have the monkey radar, so we can't actually check any of the specifics about them. And you notice, the stun club actually barely works on these monkeys, because when they're alert, their hat turns red, they are must, much less likely to be stunned, unless you have a better gadget to use. Now, some people also may have wondered why did we start with Ape Escape 2 and not 1? 
It's actually because when I downloaded this, I actually didn't see one in the shop. However, uh, last week I actually downloaded Ape Escape 1, so I'll go ahead and follow suit with that once we get uh, Part 2 finished up. But for now, we can finally enjoy this at a pretty good rate. Now that we know what we're doing, we're going to catch the exact same monkeys that we caught before. So that our progress is no different. And again, we can crouch on the ground by pushing in the left stick. But you have to hold it in. And move up on until we get better gadgets. This is actually the best way to sneak up on them. And bag him before he know what hit him. Good old chill. Now there's obviously going to be no episode breaks, no cuts, we're just speed running our way back to where we were. So three monkeys down. Welcome to the travel station. Thank you, Misty 2.0. This has been our new home since you blasted the lab. I had to build it out of the remains of my own room. Hey, last I checked, Spike was the main character of Ape Escape 1. Use the warp machine at the front to go and catch monkeys. And he was a pretty manly, pixely dude. I've also made a save port. It's really useful. Yeah, unless you forget to make multiple saves. Okay. So this is the hub area where I love that even though we're playing this on PlayStation 4, they maintain the same memory card, PlayStation 2 visuals, uh, gadget trainer, um, just in case you forget how anything works, they pretty much automatically put you into training if a new gadget comes up. Everything you get from the lottery machine that over here. Over for 10 gold coins, you can get yourself a cool item. The items that you win here can be viewed at the minigame corner and in the entertainment center. Or she'll just tell you for us. So basically you have to have 10 coins to get a ball. Smack it to get the ball. And it's usually just something random. Uh, those whose ways are different cannot lay plans for one another. Kind of the point of being different. And we have another 10 we can throw in there for an air ball. We won't waste a lot of time with this right now. Some concept artwork of some very kooky looking monkeys. Almost look like they're trying to make an anime out of it. Uh, if you get anime games, there are three in total. They'll all appear here. The rhythm one is by far my favorite. And of course, everything else is just going to go in the entertainment center. So, moving on to the next episode, which was Breezy Village. Ikaru, I'm sending this gotcha gadget to you. The monkey radar seeks out those cheeky monkeys. First, you should practice in the gadget trainer. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Sure. Okay, so brief rundown. This is pretty straightforward, but it's mainly just used to locate a monkeys that are around you, whether you can see them or not. So just move the right stick around a circle, and whenever it senses a monkey, it'll actually show its face if you're near it. And in this case, we can tell it's this door right there. It has a few other niche uses that the trainer will run you through. For instance, here we go with switches. Now we want to know the details of the monkeys, which is really the main reason I have this for the playthrough. So we have this monkey here on the right. If we press L2, we can check his details. This is the wrong switch, I tell you, so it's definitely not that one. Go with the one in the back. The one to the left of me is the winner. So there we go, just to the left of him. Boom. Which technically is his right, the way we're facing, and we're out here. So four monkeys to capture in the village. Let's go! The 
best part of this is now with the um, monkey radar, we can go ahead and see all about the monkeys before we catch them. Something that I don't know how clear it was when I wasn't doing commentary over these. So let's go ahead. You have to manually set the monkey radar anywhere you want. I just throw it on box, so we have all three visible. And back to it. So in this case, you can see we have a monkey right in front of us, and that is Walter. I feel like I'm being watched. Well, maybe. However, you don't know anything weird's going on if we're just, you know, scooting up. Now, as you can see there, if he is looking in your direction, obviously, he's not completely blind. He can still see if you get close. Luckily, the enemy knocked him down for us, which is perfect. And again, you can bust enemies for coins that you can use toward the lottery machine. Or if you get damaged, they can sometimes drop cookie fragments, which is basically your health. At this point, spin Monkey Radar around. We can see there's one over here. I didn't do it, Krusty. Alright. He says he didn't do it. I don't know how much we believe him. He's kind of acting suspicious. Now, one thing you've probably seen me fight with literally this entire playthrough is the good old uh, ridiculous camera. For some reason, you can only reset the camera behind you as you move. So very indicative of Super Mario 64. Basically just get to a new location, press the button to reset the camera behind you. Uh, it was a simpler time in gaming, but it didn't make this any less painful. So just jump on the cross beam so we can swing our way across. And let's check that radar again. So you notice there's a monkey over that way, but we're not close enough to it to get the specs on it. But there is one here we can get. You'll never find me. Babadini. Let's see if we can find him. He's doing the whole cover his eyes, you can't see me trick. Which may work in movies, but not here. Alright. Now there's one monkey left to catch. I have to try to remember which one we actually caught when we did it the first time. Uh, neither one of these two were close enough to see, so let's go ahead and continue on. in one of the boxes. Yep, there it was. Now before we catch it, we'll go ahead and check. I've got a sense of banana skin. It's good old John. And you notice because he's alert with the red helmet, the stun club does pretty much nothing. So at this point, you pretty much just have to bag him with the net. There we go. Now one thing you'll notice about these levels is you can go back to any of the previous maps. Like for instance, you can see there's one more monkey to complete that level, even though we have the cleared stamp. And in Liberty Island, there's two monkeys left. That's because sometimes a level you'll have to backtrack to because you get a gadget later on in the game that you needed to get the monkey. Like, for instance, the slingshot, I believe it is, we're going to need to get the foul monkey here. But if I remember, we did go back to this level to get the fourth monkey. Because you can actually see him right there on the cinematic. So he's just at the pedestal at the bottom of the uh, statue of Aperty, I guess we would call it. And since we have the monkey radar, we can go ahead and see about him. That is Tomkey Cruise. 
my missions to guard this spot. That's definitely not how the Tom Cruise I know would be doing. So let's go ahead. Take out any enemies, just to get our coins up. Not that big of a deal. The big thing is going toe to toe with good old Tomkey Cruise. Cornering him so that he can't dodge Jeanette. And just like that, that's it. So to exit, just go to escape. And it'll save the one monkey we got. So now the only thing left is just going to be the one that we need the slingshot for. And you can confirm it there. We have four out of five monkeys. So we went on to Port Calm next. And now we get the Aquanet. The Aquanet is used to help you swim. You'll be swimming like a fish if you practice in the trainer. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Yep. Now I will say, this one is much better than the one in the first Ape Escape. The one in the first Ape Escape was a bit rough when it came to swimming. So basically it automatically activates when you get in the water. No issues there. Again, these phones, if they're red, you can wait for them and they'll just automatically answer, or you can just smack them to hear what they have to say. The Aquanet is press the R3 button to make sure you're in. Alright, so as you see, just push the right analog stick in to shoot the net. And I'm too low. Notice that bar on the right side of the screen, that is your oxygen meter, so you don't drown. As you can see, you can aim the right stick down to swim down, up to go back up. Whereas in the first Ape Escape, as I remember correctly, you had to actually hold one of the sticks in to dive. I think the right stick. Much easier to just directionally move our work. So five monkeys in poor calm. AKA Venice, I believe this is a uh, famous for being built over water. Here I come. So let's see, so far we have been to America, we have been to Holland, we have now been to Venice. And if I remember, we have Barcelona coming up soon. So, Monkey Iron the Bridge is Where is Flea? Chili. Huh. <laughs> I guess I never made that connection before, but that's pretty neat. Uh, Easter egg for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. His name's Chili. He's wearing where Flea is. Flea is the name of the bass player for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So, Chili, out of here. I actually literally just got that reference. Even the first time playing this, I didn't get it. So we got Gondola Driver. They'll actually jump in the water if we get close to him. So let's use the radar to find out about him. You got Danny Boy looking out over his empire. Where's the other one here? There's one that jumped in. Punto. Alo, Signor. Okay. So, we know he's in the war somewhere. But not seeing good old Punto. There we are. I thought, I thought there was a dash we could use. This is the R2. He's had to have jumped out. Because I am not seeing him anywhere. So let's do the same. Let's go ahead and get back to shore. At least one of the shores. And you notice we also have a blue phone. The blue phones you actually have to smack to activate. They won't just ring and pick up like the red ones. 
they're usually more Monkeys important. Monkeys that try to escape by swimming away can be press the R3 button. And that's just reiterating if we skip the tutorial on how the Aquanet works. So let's take out the enemies. Bringing home the bacon. There was Day Boy up here. And since he's alerted, it's pointless to use a stun club because it won't do anything. It's partly why I prefer to use the, uh, the hoop when it comes to catching them. Because uh, even when they're alerted, it will knock them over. So hit the switch to go into the next area. time we have uh, pineapple birds. Maybe it's a uh, bit of a dig at the fact that the Italians are famous for not liking pineapple on their pizzas. I have no idea otherwise why we'd have pineapple birds. Okay, now over on this side we have sunken ship. Do we have anything else that is interesting or useful over here? And you can see there it will warn you if you are not paying attention to your oxygen meter. And I'm not really seeing the purpose of being over here. Must be a monkey in the fountain, let me see. Yep, surely enough. Bidet! He's been doing this for three days. Of course he's named Bidet, considering he has water shooting up his behind. For those that know, no. And I don't believe we caught him the first time, so we will actually let him be. We'll just give him a smack so he knows where we are. Head back. And these monkeys are being an absolute pain to find. There's Sini Boy. Tall, skinny latte, please. I'm a senor. So he's over just living it up. And since he doesn't know we're here, we're just going to drop down and make things easier on ourselves. Sneak up. And... He found out we're here real quick, so he's cornered himself, making it easier for us. Two monkeys left to go. Alright, there's the one that jumped in the water. Got it. So, Punto out of here. One monkey left. And we are done with Port Calm for now. Obvious will obviously we'll will bag the bidet later on. Unless he's our only one. I do not believe he was the one we caught last time. It's also saying there's one under us. There it is, Florence, cheeky monkey. So he is on the ledge somewhere. There's Florence. Hey, buddy, don't mind us. We're just, you know, hopping over to say hey. Jump on in where we have the Aquanet advantage. Don't mind us. Your main advantage is, uh, you work better with the weird camera angles. Yes! And just like that, port calm out of here. It is calm, but it's also a pain navigating the waterways. Got him. Next up. A message from Spectre. Hello there, human friends. How are you today? Absolutely preferred his Ape Escape 1 voice. Okay, Weevil no, Underwood. You didn't learn your lesson even after being beaten by Kakeru. Oh, yes, I suppose I didn't play my cards.
contract that time. But this time, I've got the Freaky Monkey Five on my side. And let me tell you, they'll put up a fight like you've never seen. Sorry, but you just don't stand a chance. I fed them vitamin C bananas, so they're as strong as can be. Just keep talking. It can't be that any amount to catch you. <laughs> Hikaru, it's Bye, up Weevil. to you. <laughs> no problem. I won't let you down. Yeah, I know that may or may not be the voice of Weevil, but you gotta admit, sounds very similar. Hikaru, you mustn't forget to save your game. Oh, I am absolutely forgetting right now because I'm making sure this goes correct. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the screen recording just to make sure everything is still on track. Okay, that section was captured, and we are capturing again. So, on to the next area. Viva España! We all know what this means. Hey, Carol, I'm sending this gotcha gadget to you. You can run at lightning speed with a dash hoop, a bit of training in the gadget trainer, and you'll be as fast as the wind. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Sure. And I have to admit, this is my favorite gadget. All right. Um, more so in Ape Escape 1 than Part 2, because again, I feel like I'm fighting the camera constantly. But if we had a better camera to work with, this would absolutely be my favorite. Just because of how devastating it is. Even if Monk... Even if monkeys are alerted, this will knock them over and stop them dead in their tracks. So it's a good way to break through their running and defenses. And of course, it'll get you up steep slopes. It'll get you through timed door puzzles. Just really overall useful to have a speed dash. Same thing, just hit the switch, wait for it to raise all the way, and speed dash through. Just so many uh, quirky uses you can do with it. Really fun gadget to use. Luckily, Viva Ape Spagna actually gives us plenty of chances to use it, too. Now that we are finally in good old Spain. Let's go! Now we're getting into my culture. Born in Portugal, half Portuguese, half Spanish. But raised all American. Add that to our gadget list. Let's go ahead and check the monkeys before we go capturing everything. So you got Billy in the blue tights. Lightning fast, you can't catch me, I'm banana powered. Yeah, but we're super hoop powered. And then we've got up on the hill. Probably the more annoying one to catch. Slope, bet you can't climb this hill. The problem is we can climb the hill and we usually go flying off the other side. So let's go ahead and bag these two. Just run him over before he even knows what happened. Same thing, get up that hill. And fall off as I figured. Okay, same thing. Good grief camera, work, work with us here. Now you can see my major gripe with the camera. Alright, so they're out of the way. Let's see if there's anything else here. So there's something in the box. Let's go ahead and release it instead of catching it. We'll go ahead and get the stats on it. Just since that's more fun. So that monkey is Pogo. And all he has to say is Ow. Probably because we busted a box on top of his head. Alright. Moving on to the next area. There's three down. Again, just run through everything. Moving on. Alright, so we got a bunch of runners here. We got Lily who's having a bad feeling about this Hikaru. Wiz saying eat my dust, as if he knows what speed is. And who else do we have? 
Just those two that are coming into view right now. So let's show Wiz a thing or two about speed. Once Wiz is in the bag, let's go ahead, hit the switch, to raise the platform, and notice we have two more over here. You got Trip, who is Footloose, you got Burgett, who is the Monkey Manager, and you got Olay, no bull. Now obviously you know you can't play into his games, so we're just gonna have to wipe him out. And go ahead and use the dash hoop to take out our guy that literally can't stay vertical if he tried. We'll just help him get better acquainted with the floor and then our net. Back up the ramp. And let's work on the apes up here. Notice the slope surface. Gotta use the dash hoop to get across it else you'll just fall right off. Use this as your reprieve since the hoop doesn't last that long. And continue across. Got a box we can push if the handprints weren't obvious enough. And this should get us to where Burgett was hiding. Or no, it's gonna be a monkey in a box. So same thing, bust the box on it. And what is this? this? is Chutney. So long for all the bananas. Okay. Smack. Again, Stun Club does hardly anything when they're red. But, the dash shoot will. Unless he blocks it. And we're just gonna jump off because we cannot platform worth a darn today. That's fine, he ain't going anywhere. If he does jump down, he'll just help us. Here's our shortcut. Not too worried about the eggplant bees or the overge if you are European. I mean, you kind of had no room to move, Lily. So now back about this other uh, character. Go ahead and hit the switch to raise the platform. That way we can get right back to the bridge we were on before we so rudely got bumped off. Just get Ray. Fall down right there, since that's where the bridge is. And just like that, we're right back in it. Get out of here, Chutney. Alright, kill Tomato Bird. And where's our last monkey? Ape. Burgeon's over there on that side. So this is the one we have to do the crazy dash shoot to get. Basically, the only way to get to him is to work our way across the rooftop. Just like that. Oh my goodness. These roofs do not like us today. But in an ideal world, you would have bagged him before we fell off. But that's fine. Luckily, he's again just to the left of our lift. Oh. My. Goodness. I'm sorry you think this level is cursed. Brother of my brother. Can we please, 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 get a functioning camera in this game? Somehow, it never felt as bad in the first Ape Escape. 
Something about this one. I am not moving from this spot. You're just gonna go in the net. Okay, so just like that, it appears we completed the level. But wait! There's more! Welcome to your first boss fight! The first of the Freaky Monkey 5, a.k.a. the Ginyu Force. And just like the Ginyu Force, the blue one is the fast one. Hi, Birder. AKA well, kiddo, Blue Monkey. I'm give you credit for making it this far. Ever heard of the Freaky Monkey 5? Well, I'm Blue Monkey. The boss has ordered me to stop you, so I'm afraid that's what I must do. But they gave you Chase's so voice. I'm personally, kid, I'm doing this for all the little monkeys out there. Come on then. <laughs> well, you're definitely not a coward, are you? Hey, kid. Don't you know that you've got to be careful at traffic lights? Let me give you a lesson in road safety. Come and get me! Go! Obviously a great way to teach kids about uh, red lights. Go home to your we're not, we're just gonna smack you. If you travel on the path when the light is red, it will cave in behind you. But basically, all you have to do is just keep running into him with the dash shoot. Just like Birder, he is not the fastest thing to ever exist. He's actually pretty easy to hit. Oh, don't worry. We're right behind you, buddy. Again, just don't give him any breathing room. He'll go down lightning quick. Not even worried about the bombs, because I just hit the bombs and keep going. Yes! Okay, your bomb trick finally worked. Because we can't move the camera worth a darn. Uh, you first. Notice if we do use the monkey radar, you get no description on him. Just because he is a boss. Just like that, easy. Down. The red light doesn't even come into play. The biggest thing is just not falling out of the dash shoot speed boost when he's seeing you with the bomb. So just like that, first boss down. On to the second set of the game. So that was the friend that Spectre was talking about? I think so. Alright, next up we have Castle Frightmare. This one gave me a lot of trouble the first time through, mainly because of the awkward platforming. But I think we're going to be much better this time, because we are on a mission to get back to where we left off. So contrary to popular belief, there are monkeys in the entry part of this level. They're just very well concealed. Do a quick search with the radar, and you'll see there is a monkey in the box. Let's smash him out, find out what he is. Virgil, I've seen you. So he was doing the old Metal Gear Solid hide in the box trick. It didn't work. Everything else is in the next section of the map. Head on in. Now you have monkeys with white pants, which will attack you and typically don't have very good vision. So here this bomb's for you. Don't give him a chance to use it. Just put him down quick. Or like us, just not switch to the monkey net fast enough. Do it again, and he's in the back. Now you can't go to the left because we have to knock that wall down, so instead we have to go to the right 
And here is where the platforming nightmares begin. Let's see if we do a little better this time. First try, there we go. One more set to get through. And if you fall down, of course, there's a staircase down there. It's just the distances don't look as far as they are, and you can walk off the edge. So if we check these monkeys, you've got Monkeyote. I hate windmills. Love the reference. Since he's in full suit of armor, you gotta knock him out of it. So take down the weird owl candles. That shoot fireballs. They take two hits to take down. And of course, he's gonna fly up where we can't hit him easily. And the camera's just not going circle size. There we go. Alright, so let's knock him out of his suit of armor. Do ya mind? As you saw, you can't actually catch him when he's in a suit of armor. Oh, here we go. He's So he's going to start the platforming nightmare by knocking us back into this area. Again, I think the biggest trick to all this is just the fact that you can run off the edge without meaning to. So you gotta be careful about when to start the jumps. And you are annoying, Monkeyote. Get in the bag. Thank you. Next one thinks he's being stealthy, although it's kind of obvious when the paintings have eyes. Van. Where did Hikaru go? Van go? Or technically Van Gogh. Knock him out. Catch him. Easy. At this point, we need a special gadget to get past the fireplace. So for now, leave it. Most likely, we're going to get taken out this trap. But that's fine. It'll just respawn us right here. Big thing is just double jump over these. Try to have enough momentum that you don't get stuck right where they're swinging. And we actually somehow made it. So go ahead, take out the enemy. Hit the switch. You know what time it is. It is monkey on creepy bedtime. This time we have Simon, the producer monkey. Wonder if that's a reference to Simon Cow. Got him just before we blew up. That was perfect timing. Hailing up the stairs. At this point, we're really starting to wind this one down. So let's see what we have to work with. We have a fridge that's opening all by itself. Giving us plenty of good banana treats, but we're not here for that. We've got a Dracula reference and daggone it. We're not to uh, stop until it's complete. So in the next area, you have Pierce. I was so scared I wet my pants. Even though apparently he's just going to rust himself away here. Monkeys in this one. Let's check. Count Monkeyler, of course. Fang you very much, as he says. Thank you. We're going to be given a cookie because we've not been down yet. And unfortunately, Count Monkula didn't know this. This is absolutely a situation that would have been made so much easier if we already had the, um, what do you call it, if we already had the slingshot. Well, that didn't do you much good, did it? 
Alright, so let's play dual match with good old uh, Pierce over here. Once he's gone, let's go ahead and load up on more points. As you can see, when you string them all together, they uh, up in value. Now we can cross from the entryway to finally get the last monk ape. And he is going to be over here on this awkward ledge jump. That is... Jumpy! What was that noise? So he's a very alert dude. We're going to put it to the test. Except we can't sneak up the stairs. But we can bag him from midair. Just like that. Count Frightmare. Out of here. If you want to change your pace, try using the gadget trainer. Ah, oh, we're good, unless you want to give us a new gadget. And just like that, we finally get ourselves back to the level we are actually supposed to be at. So let's go ahead and save it here. And we are going to do a correct thing this time. time you want to have a... Okay, you don't have to tell me about it. This time, we are going to save in the first slot. We are also going to go back and save in slot 2. Having two different saves, that way, in case something doesn't get recorded properly, we can just load the other save so we didn't lose the progress. So just like that, we are finally back on track with Ape Escape 2. The next episode will be the correct next level. And now that we have got it with commentary, we'll go ahead and keep it rolling as is. So thanks everyone for your continued support. Now we'll get much more of these out. Because like I said, we have both Ape Escape 2 and 1 to get through. So until next time, take care everyone. We'll see you next time.